Well, the BJP, which has emerged as the single largest party in Delhi, has surprised everyone by saying that it will not stake claim to form the government in the national capital. The party's chief ministerial candidate in Delhi, Dr. Harsh Vardhan, while talking to headlines today, disclosed that BJP was not interested in staking claim to form the government as the party was short of the majority mark. Harsh Vardhan said that party would prefer to sit in opposition than indulge in horse trading. Vardhan said he was not going to persuade anybody directly or indirectly to indulge in anything that could be termed as horse trading. You see, that's not my way of politics. You see, if the people have not given me enough numbers to form the government, uh, I am not interested in forming the government uh, 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 by getting some people from here and some people from there. Unless uh, somebody is uh, willing, that's something else. But. Uh, I think uh, we will we, prefer to sit in the opposition and continue to serve the people of Delhi. So rather interestingly poised here, the BJP won 31 seats in the 70-member Delhi Assembly, while its ally Akali Dal backed one seat. The party falls short of the majority mark of 36. The Aam Aadmi Party making an impressive debut, what 28 seats, facing a humiliating defeat, the Congress got just eight. On the other hand, the Aam Aadmi Party has once again reiterated that it will not support BJP or Congress or take support from them to form the government. So as Delhi gets a hung house, all eyes will now be on Lieutenant Governor Najib Jha. But the Lieutenant Governor now might first invite the BJP to form the government and ask it to prove the majority on the floor of the House. As there is no party in a position to form the government, the Lieutenant Governor might recommend President's rule in the national capital. While the Assembly may be put in suspended animation and fresh elections could be held within six months' time, most probably with the Lok Sabha votes.